Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick how-to. In this video, we're going to show you how you can create a website using Wix in this step-by-step -step guide. So first up, open up your Google Chrome or any internet browser you often use and you just need to search for wings.com. So basically right here and you will find this homepage. As you can see, create a website without limits. Now to get started, you just need to click on get started button right from here. And we have a two ways on how you can sign up your account. You can basically enter your email and then type your email again and then choose a password and confirm password and then, and then just click on sign up button. Or if you want to continue with your Google account or with your Facebook account. So in this tutorial, I just want to click on continue with Google so we can sign up faster. So we're going to click on this one and select the email that you want to connect with Winx. And once you've done here, you will now go to the next page. Now here, as you can see, let's get started. Who are you creating a website for? So basically select here for myself or for a client. So I just need to click on for myself and click on continue button. Now on the next page, as you can see here, bring your ideas to life with ai so you can get it started faster with the help of ai but in this case i just want to manually set up this wings account so i just want to click on setup without ai so right from here so once you click on setup without ai you will now start to set up manually your wings website and here asking you what type of website do you want to create if you want online store portfolio blog consultant technology company restaurant or event or basically you just need to type here on the search box for example just one portfolio or I just want to click on this portfolio and basically choose here if you want a PR portfolio journalist writing portfolio digital media portfolio creative portfolio so for example I just want to select this digital media portfolio so I would just want to scroll up and then click on the digital media portfolio right here and then we're going to click on continue button now on the next page as you can see here preparing your dashboard so basically here um, an option shows up so what would you like to call your website so just enter your name of your site so in this sample i just want to name this as a personal website and then here I just want to click on continue button and here choose the apps you'd like to add so basically you recommended for you as the portfolio and then you can also add your Instagram feed your blog your video so just select here depending on the preference or website that you would like to create for example I just want to add video and here discover more apps if you want online store so just uh, choose that one or if you want music, online programs, forums, groups, or something like food orders. So uh, just like this, I just want to add the forms here and then click on continue button. And here you're all set as you can see. So we're going to the dashboard. So click on this one. Now you'll find your dashboard here on the wings. So basically you have many options or settings at the left side of your screen. You can basically set up your store products, your orders, or you can just set up your business here, connect your custom domain, add a project to your profile or shipping and delivery or your payment methods. So you can just uh, set up and customize your Wings account. So also in video library, store products and billing and payments if you want to set up your payment methods. But in this case, I just want to I design my website so I just want to click on design site right there at the top right and basically you will now go to this uh, page how would you like to design your website so if you want to uh, click this one so you can start with scratch or if you want to customize a design template so I want to recommend to you if you're a beginner I want to recommend you to click on this pick a template to basically give some template ideas like this one so from here there's a bunch of templates that you can choose from so we have five pages and if you uh, want to see more you can basically click on all templates right there at the top 
or you can change the categories you can also change it uh, as you can see business and services store creative community or blog so you can choose any of the themes or templates right from here so if you want to choose a template all you need to do here just hover your mouse on the template for example right here so click on the edit button from here now it will loading up your website as you can see here and here as you can see let AI write your site content you can actually use AI to make a quick uh, create a unique text for your site so basically just enter the details right from here but in this case I just want to manually set up my website so click on this X button now here is your website so there's a bunch of options here you have add elements add section pages and menus add design add apps my business media and CMS and also if you want to zoom in your page you just click this 50% to change into 100% so I recommend you to do this to basically see your website clearly or if you want to see your website for mobile phone so basically click on this mobile phone icon right here and it will change to mobile phone uh, design and if you go back you just need to click on the website view right from here or desktop view as you can see here and there you go now if you want to change some content right here so all you need to do is just click on the content that you want to change for example right here if you want to change this what I do so basically double click and you can change the style right here so you can type here choose one here and then you can change the font style so basically click on the drop down menu and just choose the heading tree if you want and then choose the font uh, font style so for example right there and also the font size the font color so depending on your preference or branding on your website now once you've done here we're going to uh, click on X right here if you already customize or edit your fonts so right there and we can see a lot of options here on the left side of your screen so basically if you go to the left side and click on the plus icon right here add elements and here you will find here some option if you want to add image button if you want to add gallery or something like video and music contact forms or bookings or designs so you can just add elements here so for example if you want to add button and here I just want to add a text or icon buttons here so click on that and basically move the buttons anywhere on your website so just like this and then if you want to add a section right from here so if you want to add about gallery team contact or if you want to add some services so basically you just need to add a section right from here so I just want to give an example so basically here just click that one and move it on your website to see the result here now the pages and menu basically if you want to add some pages portfolio pages bookings members area blog pages right here for example if you want to add some portfolio pages you just need to click on that and it will automatically add this page on your website as you can see on your screen and we have also some different options like site design so if we going to click on this one you can change the color theme text theme page background and page transitions and also here if you go on the bottom then you'll find some Wix app market some extensions that you can use in this website and also here we have my business and also we have media if you have some social media links here and or you can add some photos or videos for free and then that's it so we have a lot of options here that we can do and once you've done finishing your website you just need to click on this uh, publish button and here if you click on publish basically an option shows up here saying congratulations your site is published and live online so going to view site right here this is the result 
or you will find here the result of the website that you created. So yeah, that's all. That's how you simply create a website using Wings with a step-by-step -step guide. So thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like and subscribe to our channel.